As a young boy, I enjoyed many special occasions. One in particular made my face light up with joy. I found a letter in the mailbox addressed to me as an invitation to a birthday party. Yup, that dark open space in the box spoke directly to me and spread my cheeks into a huge smile. Each day, I would run to the box at the end of the driveway looking for another. As I've become older, the mailbox has become an annoying omen of bad news, junk mail, and bills. Opening the creaky little mailbox now seems like a lottery I just don't want to win. Then one day, something comes across your desk that gives you a hiccup of joy again. Something that harkens back to the good old special joys of childhood. A birthday letter, a thank you card, or in my case, a save the date notice from one of my oldest friends inviting me to his wedding. And better, inviting me to be a groomsman. And of course, without a second thought, I RSVP'd yes. Fast forward a year leading up to the event, a pandemic, event date changes, hotel and flight bookings, all the planning events that occur leading up to an anticipating waiting date during the course of a year flew by. You can always organize yourself to be ready to travel, but no one can ever prepare you for airplane cancellations due to mother nature not cooperating or random changes of the plan that frustrate the best of us and turn special occasions into a nightmare of coordination losing its anticipated joy. <sighs> are canceling flights all across the country. Canceled 284 flights. Today. Sometimes there's no choice but to juice the lemon you're dealt and assess your options. Fly, walk, or drive. The choice was easy. There was only one spirited workhorse that could come to my rescue. Only one built with the specifications to aid my whimpering. Take me through mud, wind, sand, swamps, and anything waiting to leap into my path. This is the story about being there for someone, no matter if it is 523 miles away, or you have to use the world's biggest map to figure out plans and actions on how to get your 34 year old ancient truck halfway across the country. Well, here's my Hail Mary. Well, you know those moments in life where just things just don't go the way that they're supposed to? Well, this is one of them. I'm supposed to be going to a wedding this weekend. I'm in the wedding. And would you know it, my flight got canceled. And a matter of fact, all the flights got canceled. So it's one of those times that everybody talks about that they would never hesitate to jump in their 60 and drive across country. So I am checking all the fluids, grabbing some extra parts, Grab two tires off my other FJ62 because these are bald. Praying that maybe this impromptu thousand mile road trip goes really well. Nope. Great. So as you can see, I'm taking a bake of action here. Taking two good tires off this FJ62. I normally would drive this cross country, but it needs brakes. And I didn't think that I was gonna have to do the brakes in time to make this wedding. Unfortunately, I need to be at the wedding tomorrow, first thing in the morning. So we're gonna be driving eight hours there. So as a precaution, I am taking this jack. I'm taking two tires, making sure I have plenty of extra oil and extra fluids. And we're gonna do this thing. We got an eight and a half hour ride, I think. So let's get our last minute provisions. Let's get on the road.
y'all haven't seen the stuff that I pack into my truck at all times, especially when you're on a impromptu road trip, check out that video. I'll leave a link right here. I'll make sure I have everything just in case. Guitar, it's important. Kumbaya, you know, never around the fire or something. And I can't forget my suit. We're all packed. All right, so I want to check the engine to make sure that everything is good. I've already checked the oil, fluids, but I like to check to make sure the belts are all good. Everything's looking tight. I don't see anything leaking. I got some extra stuff. I got an extra alternator, an extra coil and igniter, and a couple extra belts. Um, I think that's gonna be it. Motor looks good. I'd like to throw a little rev on it. Sounds good. I guess it's time to leave. to do this. Nora, you're going to do awesome. Things running as it should. Let's go. Well, I've been driving for what seems like forever. I've driven through Virginia, Pennsylvania, and now Ohio. I'm exhausted. Still have three more hours to get to my destination, which is Michigan. I am going to go to sleep now because I am falling asleep and trying to hit myself awake. Um, and driving one of these 60 series on a long road trip kind of does that. It's really tiring. So we're going to set up our sleeping quarters here in the back of this old girl and get some shut eye for a little bit because I've got a big day tomorrow. So time to catch some Z's. Catch you in the morning. Here's a sleeping situation from last night. Got to sleep with my extra special buddy Jack here. Um, gave me plenty of reg, leg room. Um, I like to stack my boxes. If you take these two out, you can get two people back here. Um, I didn't really need to put out a sleep bag or anything. Just put out a blanket. Ready to roll. And it's time to get back on the road. Let's do it. Before we get on the road here, we want to check the oil one more time. Uh, this truck does leak a little oil or burn it who knows but we want to check that um just in case i need to start but stop at the parts store get some more she's doing pretty good that's awesome that's why i love these trucks starts every time so we're warm up before we get back on the highway here. If I wasn't seeing those with my own two eyes, 
wouldn't believe that my truck made it all the way to Michigan. But we are in fact here. I got about an 80 mile more drive to the hotel and the wedding venue. But that feels great. And this might actually be the last big road trip this old 2F is gonna take. As in the next couple weeks, we're gonna be putting that performance motor in and should be able to go anywhere. So, count my blessings on that good old 2F. Oh, that was the longest drive I've ever made. But the 60 Series made it. We are here in Michigan and I'm ready for a fantastic wedding. 60 Series never lets you down. I also enjoy this wedding. You know if you're a Land Cruiser guy, that is the only view that you need outside your window. We made it back from Michigan. That was a really long thousand mile road trip in my old 1987 FJ60. Uh, he did awesome. Nothing broke down on the way back. I didn't show a lot of that footage on the way back because nobody likes to watch driving, 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 driving videos. So uh, the only thing that failed on the truck was the actual Speedo. Uh, it started to wave at me. It probably needs a Speedo cable or needs to be uh, you know, oiled up in there. So that's the only thing that broke on the way down um, back to Virginia. 